beforehand about holding on to the ball, you managed to being key today. Was that the, the key to the, the eventual scoring? Certainly one of the uh, deciding factors, I think, in the end. And our forwards uh, done a tremendous job in, in tiring them out, and we, and we talked about that and, and holding on the ball and going to a driving game when, when we needed. So that was really pleasing, uh, and really pleasing. We scored just before half time, and we were maybe getting a bit frustrated, but and nobody panicked. Uh, we scored a nice try out to the right, and, and it put us ahead going into half time. And, and the way we played in the second half, I thought we were really clinical. Is that potential banana skin avoided today? They're all like that, I think. Now there's no easy games, and and the way we analysed Fiji, they are tremendous in terms of their offload and natural ability to play the game of rugby. So, absolutely, and but our defence really fired today as well, and because we defended well, it gave us opportunity of a turnover, and we took a few opportunities. Was the plan always to to open up a bit second half, and you know it was quite a con- contained game in the first. Was it always to to try and open up and and, and run at them a bit more in the second half? Well, the strategy we went in with, and, and Gregor and the coaches, um, you know, made sure we understood all week, as we wanted to tighten them up and, and squeeze them in the first half, and it and certainly it just turned out like that. We against teams like that, you've got a whole structure, and you don't want to be loose. And, and again, even when we played off, off off of nine, we just carried hard, and then that allowed us to open them up by using little tip plays and going out the back in the second half. So I thought it was a really good performance uh, from from the whole team. Greg, is that one of the the areas of evolution in this team that you don't let panic set in even when a couple of things start going against you? I think it is. Um, maybe if we look back, we, we might have panicked a little bit in, in certain aspects and, and almost stayed in that sort of close tussle that we had in the first half. But what's really pleasing is, is we really stepped up the second half and pulled away. And, and right from the, the start of the half, we, we had a good kick chase. We got the ball back straight away and, and then we scored a try just a couple of minutes later. So I really set the tone for the second half. Do you feel now you've got a pack of forwards that you're operating behind that can compete with just about anyone? Yeah, our forwards are tremendous and, and we've got some real depth I think now as well and you know Johnny was on the bench today Sam Skinner played excellent um, you know whether that's Gilco starting in there or VP at Tighthead whoever you know and, and I think we're, we're developing a brand of rugby where all forwards can play as well and, and that really showed again later on in the game with little tips shifting the ball and making us, us hard to defend and you and Finn seemed to pick up just where you left off there was a lot of creativity for the back line to work with yeah it's, Finn's easy to play with now He's, he, he understands the rugby at this level he knows when to flatten up he knows when to push the boundaries and I thought he put in a couple of a couple of clever little kicks in behind as well today which adds evolution to your attack as well if wingers start coming up knocking in behind and then we're able to chase it and put pressure again using our, our kicking game as an attacking weapon Fiji did obviously score a couple of tries um, maybe a couple of guys falling off tackles obviously these are big guys are hard to stop but we saw that in Cardiff as well is that an area you maybe need to tighten up with the Springboks up next? Yeah well we'll need to defend uh, very well against a team like the Springboks I think well, certainly one of the tries was a bit unusual we got a big hand on it and slapped it back and we were probably just rather than getting back together we almost defended on our own a little bit once we got back into that position so we'll take our learnings from from that going into to next week because you can't defend um, you know against one of the best teams in the world you can't defend like that how the Glinty games has been favourites I know you're talking a wee bit away from home but mm. this wouldn't be the home was, that, was that the sort of mindset you're looking for in these type of games where you want your team to really go out and, and press the advantage when they have it yes um I, I do. I do believe it is different at home than away in terms of when, when we're favourites. Uh, we've had a level performance in our home games where we're underdogs or favourites. It has been consistent. I'm not sure if we were overwhelming favourites going into today. Uh, the threats that Fiji posed, we saw that with with the two tries they got in the first half. Um, so they, our performance had to be at a level where they weren't allowed or weren't able to to play that rugby for too much of the game. In terms of you've got a big test next week, how important was it to get a result today that gives you that bit of momentum going into the South Africa match? Oh, that's great. I think uh, the atmosphere at the ground again was was fantastic to, to get tries, to get eight tries, I believe it was, and to get the players to feel that atmosphere. The crowd are really behind them. That's, that's a huge boost going into next week. The players are very aware that next week's a huge step up. South Africa, you could argue, are in the best two or three teams in the in the world given that the the recent form and how they've beaten New Zealand once could have beaten them a second time 
they've got a huge pack, a pack that caused England a lot of problems last week. Uh, they're playing later tonight against France, and we, we obviously will watch that game. But we believe that they're, they're playing a level of rugby that is rival to the best teams in the world just now. Sam Skinner picks up man of the match on his debut. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, he was, he was very good. Uh, it, would, uh, it takes two or three viewings to to see closely what um, what all our players did, but he, he was prominent. Uh, he looked to play rugby. A couple of nice offloads, uh, even a kick in there. I don't think I've seen that in his <laughs> in his games from uh, from Exeter. Uh, and he stuck stuck about and did his task. There was a lot of work that went in the tight. So the the whole pack need credit for that. The the scrumming and the the lineup all put pressure on Fiji. Uh, it led to tries, led to yellow cards, uh, but it was great to see Sam doing that job and the uh, the playing the loose so well. And a lot of headlines for Tommy Seymour getting a, a hat trick as well. Mm. How great was it to see him, you know, back scoring tries and, and and looking really really sharp out there? Yeah, it's brilliant. Tommy, Tommy had a really tough year last year, um, and to to see him back in full form and, and confidence and enjoying his rugby again at Glasgow. And getting that transfer into Scotland was great. Uh, he's he's a really important player for us. Vice captain last week. Someone talks a lot during the build up to games, and we've been really pleased with his form for Glasgow. He probably didn't get the ball that much last week, but when he got it today, it looked dangerous. You spoke to Greg about the, the game management and, and and maybe being able to control the game and, and go through the forwards in the first half and open up a bit in the second. Was that the most pleasing aspect of of, of the performance, or, or if not, what was it for you? Yeah, I think the working out where the defence um, was was under most pressure, um, and hammering home that advantage. So at times that was through the mall, at times through it was through forward carries. I thought, I thought we um, we played well in the first half, uh, even though we we're trailing. Uh, we dominated a lot of possession. We were getting um, into areas where we could score tries. The two tries were really breakaway tries. Um, probably one from our mistake, one from knocking down one of their offloads and they get the ball back but it was pleasing that we just kept on going we believe in our, our fitness we believe in the game that we play that if we get it right we'll put teams under pressure and that was the case today Were you worried at all though at that point in the game when you'd fallen behind and you were getting tries you are getting over the try line and having tries choked off yourself? Worried probably wouldn't be my expression on the try chalked off. Um, you probably heard me uh, if you were sitting in front. Yeah, I was, look, I was disappointed with the, that decision. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't believe that that wasn't a try. Uh, and if it wasn't a try, there was, I think, two or three Fijian players offside to, to stop the try. So, for, for me, we need consistency in that area. If, if TMO was coming in for that, the referees awarded a try in front of them. But not coming in for a, a tackle that was definitely high on, on Finn Russell. In this climate of high tackles, then the questions have to be asked: what 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 is the role? Um, now we we um, we kept the pressure that didn't derail our how we we believe we're, we're going to win the game and the hard work that went in obviously got rewards in the second half. Uh, we've already talked to Greg about how much better you're going to have to be to beat South Africa. <laughs> What do you think about how much better you're going to have to be to beat South Africa? Well, we look, we've, we've got to build on the two very good performances that our pack have put in the last two weeks. Uh, South Africa pose their biggest challenge to us in the forward pack. Uh, they have the biggest set of forwards in world rugby, and they've brought them all over on this tour. So whether that's scrum, whether it's defence, or whether it's line-out, we, we have to improve once again. Uh, but I felt our forwards played well last week, and they were even better today. In terms of our attack, they're going to be much tougher to break down. Very organised defensive team. Two excellent coaches, um, Jacques Niembar, who's a defence coach, and, and Rassi Erasmus, who both worked at Munster. And they're dangerous when, when they have the ball. So this is a, a real challenge. This is one of the top teams in the world we're taking on next week. How did you think Holly did in his return to, to action? Yeah, good. He uh, he got 80 minutes, um, which was pleasing. Uh he was well marshalled at times but he looked to make things happen it's great that he got through the game when, and ran, or ran a few metres today uh, kicked the ball a few times and that we should give him more confidence going into next week I think with with outside backs um, maybe, maybe Stuart didn't get the, the openings or opportunities but the, the two guys around him did and part of that was through Stuart's work and the players inside him to to get Sean into space and Tommy into space. 